Good morning, guys. As usual, it's 4 o'clock. It's not really the morning. Um, Adrian ended up... So he, every other week, they do, like, a work-from-home Wednesday. And this Wednesday, I guess the CEO is having a meeting with everybody. So um, everybody has to be in the office and can't do the work-from-home Wednesday. So Adrian then requested uh, this morning to... Um, to be working from home today to make up for not being able to work from home on Wednesday. And they agreed, so he's home. Um, I am still, I'm sorry guys, I am still recovering from the hospitalization. Um, it's weird, hospitalizations tend to take like double the time that you're there to recover from, if not more. So I'm still trying to recover from being in the hospital and having all of these tests done. Um, I just had a doctor from NYU, or not a doctor, a nurse from NYU call to check up on me. And you know, I just basically said like there was nothing done during the hospitalization about symptom management. So um, really I'm in the same place I was as I was before I was admitted just because all the hospitalization was was extensive testing. So yeah. Yep. So. She said, you know, like, we're going to work on trying to find me um, a primary care that can take over my IV care and all of that stuff. Um, and then I'm basically, you know, I was, I was hoping that the GI that ordered for me to be hospitalized, I was hoping he was just going to call on his own and, and you know, like, kind of tell me what's up with the, uh, the test results. But I think I'm so nervous about not being in a flare at this point because we've all been convinced this entire time and because of the way the symptoms has, have presented themselves we've all been under the impression that this is a flare and I think having the testing done and having a solid answer yes or no is what's scaring me and what's scaring me more is that the answer is going to be no you're not in a flare because then we have major 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 problems like major 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 problems because we have no idea what's going on and I have you know, I'm, I'm going to, if, I, if I'm not in a flare, that GI is not going to want to see me anymore. So I'm going to be sent to another GI and then they're just going to do it as a treatment for IBS, which I really, my IBS presents itself so much differently than this has been presenting like through my body for the past three months. Um, so I'm really, really worried that I'm going to be in remission still and I really obviously don't want to be on more aggressive treatment, but at least we know what's going on and literally tomorrow I could start treatment for it. Like as soon as I get off the phone with him, if I'm in a flare, I can start like more extensive treatment. Um, so I'm just nervous because I just, I really, I really am just so terrified of being in remission. And like, yeah, I'm just really stressed out about everything. And if I am in remission, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I've lost like, depending on what scale I use, it's anywhere between 20 and 30 pounds. Um, you know, like I'm wearing a onesie right now and it, it like should be a little bit tight on me and it fits perfectly. Like, I don't like the way I look. I want to eat. I'm so hungry. I was trying to eat yesterday and it just made me so sick. So, and like sick up until like two or three hours ago from yesterday. And I didn't even have that much food. I had soup and crackers and that was it. So I'm just worried. I don't know. They're going to help me try to find a primary. Um, I'm going to try to get a recommendation from um, the GI whether or not he continues to see me or not. Um, and I'm just running fluids and relaxing today um post-hospital anxiety big time especially being you know and i said well you know i'm doing the same as before i came in because you know this it wasn't symptom management um so that's pretty much it i'm gonna go upstairs i'm gonna rest for a little bit i kind of want to eat but i learned yesterday that's not a good idea so i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update um kind of just try to down tea and avoid eating so I don't really feel like getting sick 
so there's your update and hopefully the rest of the day goes pretty well i think it might be raining today but i'm not sure it's also freezing which i'm not okay with but so i'm wearing a onesie and a hoodie thing because i love this thing anyway i'll see you guys in a bit <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully gonna relax after a bit of an emotionally difficult day so far. Welcome to a farmer's market. Now we're going to get smoothies. Not focusing. Hey guys, so quick update. Um, it's just about 8. Adrian finished working about an hour ago, so we went out to pick up a few things. His mom wants chamomile tea for, I think he said she's going to put it on her eyes because chamomile tea I think is good with like circles and stuff. And then since we were there, I got French uh, vanilla chai tea. Just twinings. So nothing too crazy. It comes with 10, 20 bags, so that's pretty cool. Um, and we went and got a smoothie, so I got the mango magic because I kind of haven't been able to eat today. I tried making like mashed potatoes and I had like half of it and not even, I had less than a half of it, but it got me really sick. Where we got some more blood work back and other than the stuff that was already messed up that I explained. Um, we got test results that my blood urea nitrogen level, which is like your bun level, um, I believe it is solely for kidney function, but I think also kind of just um, indicates some stuff with liver function, but I think it's mostly kidneys. So that number is supposed to be between 10 and 24, and when I looked at my blood test results, mine was at a 2. I'm not really sure what that means. In more pressing news, cool jellyfish in me broke. It didn't really break. I had it like tied in these weird like knots that were sitting underneath that hole, and then this was what was holding it up. So I guess it just got too thin and pulled out. The unfortunate thing is the only way I can fix this is by undoing this. So that's a lot of work for something super small. So we'll see what I end up doing with this. <sighs> um, I'm just playing a video game. I'm up by myself, um, which is totally fine. And I'm working on the smoothie. I had like a chip, um, craving all the salty things. Potsy, craving all the salt. Um, but yeah, I'm just playing the game just on um, YouTube a little bit too, I'm kind of multitasking. Um, I made the chai tea, it kind of sat a little bit weird, but it was good. Gotta finish my smoothie and um, hook up to a new bag before I go to sleep. I'm now also watching Christina's weekly vlog. She uploads on Mondays every single week. Gave you a thumbs up, Christina, and even if you don't have ADS, check out her vlog. Her vlog is amazing. I love it too. Mondays, like, Mondays can be kind of rough because that's like the first day, even though Adrian only goes in for two to three days, it's still like the beginning of the week and, you know, I don't know. It just doesn't feel good. Sometimes Mondays are Mondays and um, her vlogs like really help make Mondays a lot easier um, and she's really funny. And you recently subscribed to my channel, so if you're watching, thank you so much. Um, and if you are not Christina, but you're watching, check out her vlog. Um, just Google Christina Doherty, and, or not Google, YouTube. And she has some um, informational videos, and then she does like her weekly vlogs, um, which she calls uh, Vlogging with EDS. And she's great, so definitely, definitely check her out. Um, you guys will not regret it. And, oh, and I also wanted to say about the blood test results, like, um, I don't know if I was coming off, like, 
dramatic about it, but it's just, it's not even, it's not a matter of me being, like, like, overthinking everything and being terrified. It's more of, like, what what's bothering me about it isn't that the, the counts are messed up, it's that these numbers are, are messed up and nobody's doing anything. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. So it's like I'm not freaking out because of the individual tests, it's more of like the big picture where it's like this is off, this is off, this is off, this is off, and it's like the why isn't anybody, why isn't anybody doing very much to help me. Um, and you know I just kind of got discharged with no treatment plan too, so it's, it's less about the numbers and more about the stress relating to the test results and the situation I'm in. So I just, I wasn't sure if it was going to come off like I was freaking out about each individual number or not. So I just wanted to clarify that. So one really positive thing about being chronically ill and not able to drink, um, even though I don't think I'd really want to anyway, is that I can be designated driver. So that is what happened tonight. I also just wasn't feeling going to sleep at 11, so it's 3.50. But I wanted to show you guys some pictures that my sister took of Rosie. Um, so if you're having a rough day or if you just need a smile, which you can never have too many smiles, I'm going to show you a few pictures of her. She looks so cute. And then they just bought that bed. How precious. Oh, and then I was wearing my onesie this morning. Yeah. I just sent that to my friend. She bought it for me for Christmas last year, so I wanted to um I wanted to send her a picture of me wearing it so that she knew I was wearing it. <laughs> um But I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching and I hope everybody is doing it as okay as they can be today. Love you guys, thank you for watching.